Hi folks, Chris Voss here from thechrisvossshow.com, The Chris Voss Show! Hey, we're coming here with the CES 2019, oh my god, it's CES once again. We're here reviewing all the coolest and latest technology, some of the cutting edge stuff that we've really been excited for. And this is one of the booths that we're really impressed with. You can find it in Eureka Park, we'll get the booth number for you here in a second. It's 53358, be sure to check it out, tell them Chris Voss sent you. Uh, we're here with an interesting company, and I'm here with their CEO, John, John Degella. Yeah. John, what's your company name? Next Optic. Next Optic. And he's got the most amazing thing that I think I've seen here at the show so far. So, John, tell us about your company and what you guys do. So, our specialty is long range optics, and we make them very compact. So, what we have is the next generation of binoculars, and optics really haven't changed in 400 years. This should really be about that long, but with our technology, it's extremely compact. These and are binoculars. Yeah, these are binoculars. New technology yeah. binoculars. Exactly. So you can see really long range, and we have a digital screen on the back. You can see outdoors. It's really good for uh, birding, hunting, sailing, going to sporting events. There's a tremendous amount of outdoor activities you can so do. So you guys these. have something I have never seen before, and certainly a, a, something that needs to get disrupted when it comes to technology because, you know, I old world uh, binoculars. In fact, I was kind of, I had a hard time adjusting to it. No, that's my problem. Right. Because I'm so used to holding two up and I, I asked the girl yesterday, I'm like, do I open the second lens or do I, you know, I'm so used to having yeah, that two. It's a paradigm shift Yeah, sure. it definitely is. And yeah. it, it's got a back that's like a phone. This is a touch screen that's on the yeah, back. Yeah, it's a touch screen okay. on the back, yeah. And so this, imagine you're outdoors and you want to see a, uh, see something over there you really just hit hit lock it in hit the button take a picture zoom back out again so no longer do you have this big long zoom in zoom where you're out, sitting there hitting a stupid knob i remember that was a kid bit. oh it went too far yeah so let's say you want to find that uh, object right there you would go hey wow. what is that you zoom in and out you're whale watching go, hey, or you want to see that you're in a family vacation you want to go ahead and zoom in on that take a picture so little, this also works as a camera as well. Oh, it's a full DSLR. Holy we, crap. We can resolve a toothpick at 180 feet. Boy. Wow. So, which is really This is SLR quality optics combined with the long range of a binocular combined with a smartphone. And the neat, really neat thing as well, it streams to a smartphone as well. So you can set this up and just watch it. So you take huh? your kids to a concert or something. Can I share uh, to Facebook or do is that I got to go through the that phone? That goes to through do the that. phone. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So you, everything can tether right to the phone, push it up. Mm -hmm. Take and this out. looks, guys, just like a phone screen. Uh, it's got the same sort of, yeah, you know, it's just, really it, you got your Wi-Fi. I think there's Bluetooth as Wi -Fi, well. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, streaming, wow. yeah. It's really uh, 4K video. It stores it on here, but it can also send it to the phone as well. And so you, it'll charge up. It's fairly, yeah. uh, it's fairly kind of bulky in size, but it's not heavy at all. It's got an optic lens right there, and then, of course, the thing to protect it. Yeah. And like I said, what was weird for me was, was, <laughs> was like, don't you want to open up the other lens? <laughs> yeah, it's a neat part about digital. And yeah. there's a down the road, we have an AI chip in here too, so we can actually detect wow. objects at a distance and things. So really we call it three seconds pocket to picture. You pull it up, pop open the lens, get on target, take a picture, close it off, and you're done. It. So you've got a binoculars that can take picture and also multitask just like a phone would. It's almost a phone. And right? SLR quality, yeah. Wow, exactly. SLR quality. So there you go. Yeah. Um, so it's got a it's got a thing where we can mount on the side so you can put a yeah. little linear through there you can mount this on a uh tripod, tripod. yeah and then you've got your charging port over and here you yeah and a little memory stick on the side is it fairly water resistant or yeah it's ip67 you go up to one meter for okay. 30 bits so really you could oh. bounce it off a cliff it's meant to be a rugged slr long range and it fits in a pocket, unlike a 500 millimeter SLR. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's just crazy. That yeah, so it, this is a. Uh, that's what I should be filming in here on. Yeah. <laughs> I used to have the big cannons that we bring to the show. Yeah, exactly. And it, it just became a nightmare. And, the, and nowadays the cameras are so good, and there's, uh, you can get them in these smaller things. So um, these are these are your yeah. zoom in, zoom so out buttons at the top. There's actually two two optics in here. Okay. There's one is a wider field, so. The, the goal is if you take your family out somewhere, like all of us right now, you and me are for the first time ever, are sh you got four eyeballs looking at the same screen of a binocular. You can share binoculars. You, you so you don't have to buy one for everyone in the family. Because exactly. And now this is the real novel piece that we're thrilled with. If you want to line something up, but if you said, oh, I want to find the pathway in the trees, 
that'd be very challenging normally, but here you can use your human eye to line up the ball. Anything in that box, as soon as you hit the button, bang, instantly you're zoomed in. That's awesome. Bang, you're right back out again. Save it, Facebook, Twitter. From your phone, you can do lots of that. And yeah, that's different than when my psychiatrist says trying to find the forest for the trees. Yeah. <laughs> that's a different thing. <laughs> exactly. So imagine there's a tremendous use for it. And, and, uh, you know, it's cool. I like the sharing feature of it too. Because you, you ever have somebody who they exactly. they're looking through some binoculars, they go, "Hey, check this out," and you're like, "Then you're like, well, where, where, what are you, what were you exactly. looking at?" And so, so this you can just sit and share with some multiple people. So we call it three perspectives. Normally you have one the human eye, and it holds you hold up. All your whole world goes high magnification. This one you hold it up, you still have your first human eye. One lens is a little wider, uh, narrower field. But then we got the high magnification blade optics. This is our patented technology inside here. So you can instantly go from a little closer to really zoom in and take a picture at either one and take video as well. Now I'm seeing something on your screens over here that you guys have some net, next optic yes, AI that can that's really kind of brighten it up. So we're the only uh, technology that can do it like this. We can take any camera and we're going to put it in uh, autonomous vehicles and drones. And, uh, and we, at a video frame rate, we can turn any camera to any spectacular night vision, which is HDR as well. It's a tremendous interest. And, so, and we have a smartphone lens that's the widest aperture, highest resolution oh, really? anything out there. So we've got three products at CES we're launching nice, today. So we're, nice. we're an exciting company, yeah. And we're next is pretty cool. Next Optic, yeah, and we trade on the TSX Venture Stock Exchange. Oh, oh do you? Yeah. Okay, so cool, so you're a public company. You're going to be around for a while, you're going to be servicing the warranties on all the, on all the binoculars. This is really cool technology. If you haven't gotten a chance, come down to Eureka Park in the Sands. Go to booth number 53358, and uh, you can get a chance to take a look at this. I think it's amazing. One of the other problems I've always had with like things that you hold up to your eye, like Google Glass or binoculars, is I'm a sweaty guy, and they'll fog up. And so the beautiful part about this is they won't fog up. So that's just brilliant. And you know, especially like if you're trying to watch a football game, you're up with those nosebleed seats and you're trying to watch everything, they're going to fog up, it's going to get sweaty and nasty. This you can just look at it like a nice monitor. And uh, in fact, I should probably have this around the house when I'm getting old now with my eyesight trying to read documents and stuff. I have my phone like that now where I'm like, what is that? <laughs> so you tell people to make cheap seats to good seats. Yeah, I might need to mount that so I can read stuff on my computer. That's anyway, perfect. we certainly appreciate it. Uh, give us the website where people can look it up. So it's nextoptic.com, N-E-X-O-P-T-I-C.com. Get all, right. all the infos there. All right, well, thank you, John. We certainly Thanks appreciate so it. Check out their booth at CES or go to their website and check it out, and we'll see you guys next time. Cool.